So I put in some honey from Rosewood Winery, and we're gonna kind of have, it's kind of like a, I don't want to say a Manhattan, but it's a sturdier cocktail using this pumpkin syrup, uh, ice cask whiskey, uh, red cask whiskey, and Dylan's DSP bitter, you like a spicy bitter. But I infused some of the whiskey with, uh, not this one, this one, with uh, pumpkin and cinnamon. So just raw pumpkin. So another great thing about Gretzky's is that they invested in ice, which is awesome. Cocktails always need good ice. You know why they call it a shot? I learned this the other day. Back in the Wild West of not Canada, um, they used to, bullet casings, they used to be able to use as currency. Okay. Uh, so a lot of times they're made of brass. Uh, and you can take your bullet casing to a bar and you put it on the bar and the bartender would give you an ounce of whiskey and they'd say, here's your shot. Alina's gonna roast her marshmallows on the fire. Uh, I record this. Hope this isn't too dangerous. Focus on the fire and not. Yeah. About, I think it was probably a month ago. I was invited to come here, come down to Niagara on the Lake, kind of like an overnight stay to check out the Wayne Gretzky uh, distillery and estates. Of course, I couldn't say no to such an opportunity like this, so I decided to go and it's been really great. There's lots of people here. I'm not really used to seeing so many bloggers and so many writers uh, on one fam trip together. It's normally a small group. It's normally like maybe <clears throat> at most like maybe seven to ten people but it feels like there was 16 people tonight and it's just it's massive but it's cool because i get to meet a whole bunch of new bloggers or not new bloggers but new people that i've never really heard of people from toronto and I've, i'm always looking for people to follow here in toronto so today was our first day and it was mostly a travel day i came into the airport around four or actually probably around three three thirty <laughs> And then our flight was at 6 and we kind of just landed 
and we got whisked away to here to Niagara on the Lake. Maybe like five, ten, five, ten minutes later, we ended up going to the winery. So it's been kind of, there hasn't been a lot of breaks. And like this is, it's like what, like 10 o'clock and I just got back home. And this is kind of typical when it comes to fam trips. It's, they, they always have like a packed itinerary for media where you just go and it's just go, go, go for the entire day. Um, it was good because it was a little bit on the more relaxed side today. When we got there, there was a reception. We had some cocktails first and then we had a little bit of a workshop and then we had dinner and it was a three course dinner. It was delicious. And they did a kind of a thing where they were kind of pitting the wine versus the cocktails that were made with the whiskey. For the most part, I felt like the, the cocktails were probably the better option. And it's just because I really, I don't know, I really like cocktails. I do like wine as well, but I felt just the story behind the cocktails and the ingredients that went into the cocktails made it delicious. <laughs> After dinner, we went outside again and we did dessert kind of near the bonfire. It was really cold, a lot colder than it is in Vancouver. And I was obviously not dressed for tonight, so I'll know for tomorrow to be dressed up a little bit more warmly because it is kind of cold here. Tomorrow is going to be the last, like half of the day is going to be the rest of um, the winery trip where we're going to go back, kind of tour the winery and kind of have it in vineyard tasting. And then I think we have a brunch, I'm not entirely sure. And then after we get whisked away to Toronto where most people are flying back home, but I decided to stay until Sunday because I wanted, one, I wanted to see Adrian and two, I wanted to see my family because I don't remember the last time I saw them. I think it was the last time I was here, which was like 2004? I don't remember. It seems like a long time ago. No, it, it must have been later than that. Maybe like 2012 or 2011. Anyways, well, obviously we're probably gonna go eat and enjoy ourselves and I wanna bring you guys along with me. I don't know if you guys know or I've ever mentioned it before, but I feel like Toronto is my second home. I don't know if I can say it's officially my second home because I don't come here often, but when I was younger, we used to come here very often. So I feel like I know Toronto pretty well. And I just, I love Toronto. Like if I could live anywhere else other than Vancouver, it'd probably be Toronto. Obviously the weather's a little bit of a, a downside for me, but I mean, we used to come visit during December and November. So I'm kind of used to the cold and it's fine. I just wanted to take you guys with me because I love Toronto and I hope that one day maybe you guys will get to go experience Toronto. And I guess we can also talk about Niagara on Lake. Niagara on the Lake is beautiful. It's it's just so picturesque. I don't want to say quaint because that's not the right word. Um, it just feels like it's frozen in time. The architecture and the way that they preserve the town. It's, it's very beautiful and it feels like it's very untouched. Obviously there's like Starbucks and McDonald's here, but they're in older buildings, so it's kind of cool. And there's a lot of wineries here. I think someone said that there was over 98 wineries, but I'll look it up first before I say anything like that. I would say that Niagara on the Lake is kind of the equivalent to our Okanagan wineries. There's just so many, and I feel like there's a lot more space here compared to the Okanagan in terms of wineries because I feel like the wineries here take up a lot more space than the ones in Kelowna or in, in the Okanagan. I can't really say whether which one's better than the other because I think it's completely different and obviously the climate is completely different so to even compare the both of them together would be kind of silly. If you like the Okanagan, you would definitely like Niagara on the Lake, especially for the wineries. And it's such an idyllic looking town, it's like really super cute. And it's getting a little late. I'm not gonna go to bed yet because I still have some work to do. I'll probably process some of my video and I'll probably Skype with Brian because he's three hours behind. That kind of concludes day one. That's day one, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some shut-eye tonight <laughs> like well, at a proper time because I have to wake up We have to be downstairs by 8 or 5 to 8 So I need to go and actually <laughs> Rest for a little bit. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye